Okay, so this is the card that I made. Really, really simple. We've just got the the um, what they called the leaves. I've already got them out, and the little kangaroo and koala, so cute, and a sentiment. So I'm just going to step you through the leaves and how I did them, and then you guys get to pick what animal I use and what sentiment I use. So let's get started, shall we? Right, so I've already got the leaves out, and on the leaves, I'll show you on the stamp set, it's got this cute little frog sitting on the branch, but I didn't want the frog, I just wanted the leaves, because I was trying to recreate, like, the um, Australian Outback, and they're sort of meant to be, like, gum leaves, and I, I don't know what green I should have used to make them more olive -y. Oh, dirt, old olive, maybe. That might have worked. Maybe we should do it with old olive on this card, because this one I used the new shaded spruce, but I'm not sure it's the right colour from what I was trying to achieve. So thank you, Julie. So I might try this when we recreate this one. Let's try the old olive. So let me just grab that out. That might give us more of a eucalyptus-y type color. Oh, maybe not. All right, so I'm gonna do the leaves now and then I'm gonna check the comments and find out which is the most popular animal and sentiment to use. So you've got to choose the from the giraffe and the rhino. And the sentiments, welcome little one, thank you big time, and together we make a great pair. So, you guys get to vote on which of those, sorry, which of those two animals and which of the sentiments. You can use Wild About You again. So, everyone start commenting on what you want me to use, and I'll get started with the leaves and show you how I did them. Now, just a reminder today, anyone who comments, likes, and shares my video will go into the draw to um, win a great prize and um, the uh, sorry the only people eligible to win the prize are Australian residents and those who are not already demonstrators sorry but that's just how it goes all right so let's do these leaves all right we're going to try old olive and if I don't want the frog I'm just going to make sure I don't ink him up so I'm going to go to the side of the ink pad and just get the leaves and there's no real science about this. It's just ink it up, turn it over to make sure I don't have all the leaves there, but I also don't want the frog. So let's see. All right, I got the leaves now, not that one. This ink pad must need re-inking. And then all I did was in from the side. All right, there's one of the leaves. And then another. And all you're going to do is just go around the edge of the top. Okay, and then fit another one in there. All right, leaves are done. Now, you can see in my original card that they're a bit coloured. So what I've done with that is I have used our blender pens, all right? They come in a pack of three and they've just got, I think it's just alcohol or something they've got in them. And both tips are the same. And all you're gonna do is grab your blender pen, make sure it's clean by wiping it on some scrap paper first. And you're just going to blend some of that color out okay just go over the top of it and you'll see that color start to come out so that's all I've done just to give a little bit of interest to those leaves rather than just being an outline really really easy to do now you don't want to go over your um, work too often because it will um, make like little balls and sometimes it can bleed out so and you don't need to do much quick easy and simple so are we all voting on our animal rhino okay a few giraffes coming through sentiments do we know what sentiments we want to use
simple, isn't it? Isn't this so cool? You don't need a lot of colour on these leaves. You just want to like bring them to life a little bit. Now not all of our colours blend that great with blender pens. So on this uh, kangaroo here, I used the new grey, which is grey granite. And I found that when I went to use the blender pen on it, it was hardly picking up any colour and you really couldn't see what I was doing. So I just squeezed the ink pad together like when you want a watercolour. Got some ink on the lid and then just used my blender pen off the lid. So if, if the rhino wins, I will show you that technique because I'll use the same colour. See, they don't look like eucalyptus leaves either, do they? So maybe I'll play with them later and use another colour again. But right, so we've done the leaves. Simple, easy. Right, clean your nib of your blender pen just on scrap paper till it goes clear and you can't see any colour. Now, onto the animals. Let me have a look at the comments here and see who wins. Yes, Ray, blending is very therapeutic. Can we see the box, please? You want the stamp set? Anne? Alright, so there you go, you have the kangaroo and the little koala in the pouch, giraffe and the rhino, and the leaves and the frog, that's what I've used there without the frog, and they're the sentiments. Thank you big time, together we make a great pair, wild about you, and welcome little one. So I've got rhino, giraffe, rhino, Giraffe. Oh, they're even. Rhino, giraffe. So two of each. Another rhino, giraffe. And three of each. Oh, another giraffe. Hang on, giraffe's in front now. Um, okay. Right, giraffe's in front. So let me go right back up to the top. And another giraffe. Okay, the giraffe wins for the animal. And then for the sentiment. Little one, thank you, big time. Okay. All right, I need some more sentiments. What about you? Okay. All right, I need another sentiment because that will be a tiebreaker. Whatever sentiment is, type next. So I'll get the giraffe ready, waiting for the sentiment. Glenn, nice to have you here. Hope I pronounced your name right. Right, so getting the giraffe ready. I need a sentiment. Next sentiment typed will be it. Right, last one was wild about you. So if no one types the sentiment in 10, 9, 8, 7, Six, five, four. Oh, oh, Ray put thank you big time above what about you, but I'm still waiting for another one. Three, two, one. All right, thank you big time. It is where is that one? Okay, there. So, this is a sentiment we're going to use. All right, now I might. Do a couple of drafts along the bottom. Oh, sorry, that was my block sticking together because I still haven't cleaned them and they're all really dirty. Okay, just going to clean this leaf so I don't get ink. If you haven't seen this before, this is a wonderful new chamois. You just um, wet it, stamp your stamps on there, done, clean. Look at that, lovely. Always clean, if they're red rubber stamps, when you're finished your crafting session, always clean them still with the um, stamp and mist because that's actually a conditioner as well for the red rubber and that will keep them in really top condition. But this is a quick clean up so that if you have stamps on your desk, you don't accidentally put um, something else on them and you end up with ink where you don't want it. So really good to use that um, as you go. Right, giraffe. We're going to have to do him orange. So I vote for 
pumpkin pie and we shall do I can probably fit a few along there let's just do a row of giraffes let me move that one away so I in ink, ink all over it right we're going to do a test stamp like I always do every time I use a stamp for the first time oh you're so cute okay so let's do a few giraffes mm -hmm. fingers crossed straight if not he's crooked there we go one two Alrighty, three giraffes on the bottom. Hi Deborah, nice to have you here. Deborah, you need to send me your um, address please because you won the drawing for the giveaway from Saturday's um, Facebook Live. So I want to get you your prize, honey. So send me your address please and I will send it to you. Now for those just joining, um, hi Nicole, nice to have you here. If you are an Australian resident and not a demonstrator, if you like, share and comment on my video while it's live, you'll go into the weekly draw, or the draw for every Facebook Live, sorry, um, to win a cute little, nice little prize. So I plan on doing these more often than I have been because I have been quite slack. And um, every time I do one, you go into the draw to win a prize if you are Australian and not a demonstrator. Alright, so just going to blend out these giraffes as well. This colour should be okay to blend. And what I want this time around is like I've done on this kangaroo. I just want like a little edge around him. So let's see how this goes. We're just going to blend it out on the edge. Okay, can you see that little bit of colour? There we go. It just adds a bit of more interest than just a outlined stamp. But you could colour these with all sorts of things. Watercolour, uh, markers, stamp and blends. Lots of ideas for colouring these cute little guys. There we go. One giraffe. nice and easy and yeah colouring is very therapeutic I love it and every time you do it it's going to turn out differently go last one oh Christy you're from Sydney I just moved from Sydney in November <laughs> I'm now in sunny Brisbane I heard it's very cold down there today well it's beautiful up here in Brisbane I'm in short sleeves and I have the fan on because I'm a bit hot in my craft room So quick and easy, well maybe not so quick, I've done quicker cards, but for this effect it is really a quick technique. And there we go, our drafts are done, nice and easy, clean your blender pen, and now we're going to do the sentiment. Now for this sentiment I've got two different colours in here because I use the stamp right markers, so I'm going to do the same on this, I just need to find my old olive. Just move them. And oh my gosh, I can't open this container. Alright, old olive and and what was it? Pumpkin pie. That looks like pumpkin pie. If you're not familiar with our markers, they're really cool. One end, denoted by the thin line, is the fine nib. And the other end, denoted by the thick line, is the brush marker. 
really really cool to find the name always look at the thin line end and you'll have the name there and it's in other languages as well but i can't speak anything but english and some people think i can't speak english that great sometimes either and there we go old olive how easy was that game to go swimming nicole um if my heating for my pool was working then yes i would <laughs> but no i'm not that crazy we went for a walk yesterday afternoon um from queen's beach up to redcliffe and it was blowing a gale and really cold and that's when i went oh my gosh yes it's winter but that um was right you know seaside late afternoon it was very cold all right so this is our sentiment I'm just going to pop it in the middle there and I'm going to color it with the markers so let's do the um, thank you in the old olive and all you do is color in the stamp over where you want that color with the brush end of your marker And then this bit I want in the pumpkin pie. All right, now you huff on it, which means you just breathe heavy on it. And then that's gonna refresh any ink. So you can take your time coloring if you wanted to use another color and and use say another color on big or whatever um you just need to huff and then i always do a test stamp so i don't have to color this again <sighs> because i like to make sure that it's actually straight so if i stamped it like that am i going to get it straight yeah close enough now if i wanted it perfect then i'd take a bit more time and make sure that it was really really straight but anyone who knows me knows that that's not always my strong point making sure everything's lined up perfectly and straight all right so we're just going to now do this again then i'll huff on it again and then we'll cross everything i want you all crossing your fingers toes whatever so it's straight on the card because murphy's law you can practice as much as you want and get it perfect every time and then when it comes to actually doing it on the project where it matters it will go wrong so fingers crossed <sighs> huffing huffing <sighs> and i'm standing up for this so i get it straight i gotta look over the tops so if my fat hair gets in the way i apologize fingers crossed everyone oh yes i've got it straight cool so my fat hair in the way? Probably. See all my lovely grey hairs? My silver highlights. So there we go. We've just created that card. Didn't take too long, did it? Alright, you just want to hang around and do another one? Because I could do another one with a rhino. Do you just want to see one with the rhino? It's going to be the same process. But hey, I'm keen to keep going. If you are, just let me know. Thank you, Christy. I'm glad you liked it. This is a really cool stamp set. I really like it. I didn't when I first saw it. I went, mm, I don't know. But I do. I've fallen in love with it. And probably the more I use it, I will um, fall in love with it more. Thank you, Sandy. I'm glad you liked it. All right, so if you are Australian, or live in Australia, I should say, and you're not a demonstrator, like, share, and comment my video. And... You go in the drawer for a cool prize. I don't know what it is yet, but it'll be cool. Right, so I'm going to make another one. So if you want to stick around, stick around. Thank you, Glyn. All right, so I'm just going to make another card like that. Now, I don't measure this exactly in half. I just do four and one eighth straight down the long side. All right, I've got two cards there. Sorry for the noise from my trimmer. Fold it in half, and I've got another card ready to go. Okay, simple as. Stay on camera, Narelle. All right, here we go. 
Let's do another one. Let's just do the rhino because you've seen how I've done the leaves. So let's just stamp this rhino and I will show you how to colour with colours like grey granite that don't want to work with the blenders that great when you stamp them. So let's grab another block. Oh, my blocks really need it clean. Look at that. Oh, it's got glue stuck to it. Blimey. All right, so I'm going to ink him up with the grey granite. New ink pads if you haven't seen them before. Just open like a compact. I don't know why they say that because how many people these days use contacts? It's like compacts, I mean. It's like my mum's era. Like, it's old these days. All right, you lift it straight up and push it in. Really, really easy. And they are really tight when you first get them, but they will loosen up. Okay, so we're just going to stamp our little rhino. Hopefully he's straight. And yeah, I don't put stickers on, so... I tend not to do that. I'm too lazy. Oh, and he's a little bit crooked. Oh no, but that doesn't matter. He's going uphill, I guess. I might be able to fix that with if I make some stamp some of the leaves and then cut them out, and then I could make it like he's in a bush, and then you wouldn't know really that he's crooked, would you? So yeah, I might do that. But first, let's colour this cute little rhino. Right now, I'm going to grab my blender pen again. And you'll see that when I try to blend this out, I'm not really getting any colour. Can you see that? Like there's next to nothing coming out like it was with the green and the orange. So what you do is you want to transfer some ink from the ink pad to the, to the lid. So you're going to squeeze from underneath with your thumb. Lots of pressure. Squeeze and push with your fingers at the top. All right, squeeze and push, squeeze and push. And what you're trying to do... Yes, Glyn, <laughs> they are changing the ink pads. Apparently the old style ink pads, these cases, the dye they use to make them um, only has a life of so many and they were coming to the end of their life. So rather than getting a new dye made up, they decided to change the cases, which these are better. These are very chunky and hard to store if you don't have the um, carousel and a lot of people don't have the carousel because it doesn't work in their stamp space so these stack really well and they're much more compact I've actually done away with my carousel now because I'm gradually going to replace all of my oh, gosh wait <laughs> can't get this one open there we go um, I'm going to replace all of my ink pads eventually with these new ones. Just because I can. <laughs> right, yeah, so I have transferred ink to the lid. Now all I'm going to do to colour this cute little rhino is grab some ink off that lid. Okay, and then just go around the edges. And it doesn't take any longer to do it this way, really. So I'm just trying to get a bit more of a shadow effect or a bit more of a, a colour on him. not too bad is it and then with this little guy you can get quite detailed and all his little rolls of skin fat whatever they are you can actually color them as well give him a little bit more depth and really make him come to life Okay. 
sorry if I go quiet. This is what happens when I colour. I just get lost in my own little world. Lots of thoughts running through my head. Can be a bit scary in there sometimes. And I forget that like, oh, I should be talking to you guys, but. Okay, he's nearly done. Here we go. Our rhino is done. Have I missed anywhere? I missed his tail. Here we go. Now, what I could do if I wanted to get fancy was color the bird with a different color. So let's do that. I've got orange on my my table so I'm just going to squeeze more ink to the lid lots lots of ink this is a really juicy ink pad and I was going to color a little birdie orange and I'm just going to go around the edges again it's a bit much ink go around the edges just to keep in the theme of the um the other animals in these cards Mm, do I do his feathers? No, I'll do his feathers this same colour. There we go. Oh no, I've got a bit of ink on there. Never mind. Here we go. We have a cute little birdie. Orange birdie. That's it. So. If you haven't um, used leading pens before, they're really cool. Another new um, colouring technique if you haven't done it before. And anything I've used, you can get from my shop as a, um, a nice plug for you. I have to plug my shop. And that's a really, really cute stamp set. So if you don't have it and you have children in your life anywhere, um, grandkids, nieces, nephews, your own children... It's a really cute stamp set to get so I hope you have enjoyed watching today and thank you for the input oh Margaret you have just joined me and I'm about to finish I'm sorry but thank you for joining today and don't forget if you're watching this live and you're in Australia and you're not a demonstrator then if you can share like um, and comment on this video you go into the drawer for a cute little prize so, yes, it is cute, isn't it, Christy? I love it. It's it's grown on me. And there's actually framelits that go with this too. So I don't have the framelits yet. I haven't ordered them yet. But um, it says frame. Let me find them. Wait a minute. Of course, it just takes this stamp set to a whole new dimension when you can cut them out and do lots more with them. Now, I, I, I could cut these out if I wanted to fussy cut them, but I'm not in a fussy cutting sort of, sort of mood today. So here we go. These are the Animal Friends Thinlets. $50 for 70 dies. And besides just the animals that cut out, and the, cuts out the leaves as well by the look of it. So let me show you what I do with the stamp set. Here it is. Okay, so you have a die that cuts out the kangaroo, cuts out the rhino, cuts out the giraffe, cuts out these leaves, okay? There's also another die that cuts out other leaves, by the look of it. Are they those leaves? No, they're those ones. Um, more leaves here, and then this cool background that looks like like a giraffe dot, like, you know, the spots on giraffes, that sort of pattern, background die, and some cute little vines as well. So... They are really cool. 50 bucks and you get all those dies. Imagine what you could do with the, the stamp set and the dies. Just fantastic. All right, anyway, I've got to go now. Thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed it. And I hope you come back soon and catch me again sometime. I'm going to hopefully do one maybe tomorrow. We'll see. All right, thank you for watching. Bye, guys.